Very, very sad news. We all know about this. Yes. Uh, well, sad news, but it's one of these things we knew would happen eventually. In fact, he had been out of the limelight for a while. Yeah. Uh, Sean Connery, uh, di- James Bond actor, dies at age 90. He was more than the Bond actor, though that was his uh, signature Let's face role. it, 90 yeah. years old, that's that's a good life, right? Doing pretty good there, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was surrounded by a uh, family and, uh, he had retired from acting a while ago. Yeah. And, um, so it, it mm-hmm, go ahead. Did you see, um, uh, you can Google this up, like the last picture of, of, of Sean Connery. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. And he was surrounded by family. Looked happy. Yeah. Looked great, you know, um, but you know, gaunt and thin. So obviously there was some health issues there. Um, you, you don't die at age 90 without health issues, you know, no. let, let's face it. But, um, yeah, I'll say he did well for himself. Yeah. He did way more than, than, than James Bond. Although that's where most people know him from. Uh, if you don't know him from James Bond, what you know him from is Indiana Jones. I'll drop an article where Harrison Ford was sharing his memories of his on-screen father. I'd like to read read from that too. Yeah, hold on, let me bring that up on here. Go for it. But uh, yeah, son Jason Connery was with him. Uh, Jason Connery is actually on one of my favorite TV shows, Robin of Sherwood. He played the second Robin Hood on that show. Anyway, uh, Harrison Ford paid tribute to Sean Connery, aka yeah. Henry Jones Sr. in the Indiana Jones series, who died on Saturday at the age of ninety. And uh, this is Harrison Ford. He was my father, not in life, but in Indy Three. Ford said in a statement to Variety. You don't know pleasure until someone pays you to take Sean Connery for a ride in the side of a Russian motorcycle, bouncing <laughs> along a bumpy, <laughs> twisty mountain trail, and getting to watch him squirm. <laughs> you know, God, we had fun. If he's in heaven, I hope they have golf courses. Rest in peace, dear friend. That's a good uh, eulogy. I like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, and I, good. I, I, I am happy some actors came out and uh, said some good things. George Lucas. Uh, wrote a statement. Uh, Sir Sean Connery, through his talent and drive, left an indelible mark in cinematic history. His audiences span generations, each with favorite roles he played. He will always hold a special place in my heart as Indy's dad. Wow. See? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, even Michael Bay said something, and uh, you know he yeah, was I'll saying how he, one too. Yeah, yeah, he basically uh, took the uh, producers of the the Rock to task. I need to see the Rock. I don't know how I've missed oh, out on that. Oh, you one. haven't seen that one yet. That would be I a good it. way for you to celebrate maybe the uh, passing of Sean Connery. Maybe finally watch the Rock. You know, Nanette and I actually, <laughs> Nanette and I actually saw the Rock in a hotel room when we went to uh, the Tropolis, Illinois, for the the Superman celebration. It was just on, and we watched it, and it was a pretty good movie. Yeah, I mean, it, lo- it looked fun, okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, Michael Bay wrote a tribute to Sir Sean Connery shortly after the actor's iconic passing. This is from IGN. And uh, Sean, come. this is um, this, this was when they were having trouble with, uh, I think, funding for The Rock. And, uh, you know, he, I think he, yeah, it, let me see, what did he say? Connery... Oh, yeah. Bay recalled a moment when he and Connery were filming a car chase. Mm -hmm. Connery hit the brakes and caused Bay to hit his head against the window. Connery asked if Bay was okay, and Bed said he wasn't, but only because the Disney folks are here to kick my butt for being two days over schedule. Connery then offered to help. Later, during a break in filming, Bay is eating lunch in an elementary school classroom with Disney representatives when Bay announces that Connery is coming in. Sean comes in, sits down across from the open mouth executives, Bay wrote, in classic Sean Connery style. He belts out in his Scottish brogue, this boy is doing a good job, and you're living in your Disney effing ivory tower, and we need more effing money. Without missing a beat, he responded, okay, how much? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, awesome. do you have a favorite Sean Connery part, uh, Troy? <sighs> Well, I haven't seen it in a lot of years, but I do remember loving, was it, was it called Dragonheart where he did the voice yes. of the dragon? Yes. That I was, remember that. That was a good one. Um, that one, I, I don't even remember the whole story. I just remember there, wasn't there a really sad ending on that? 
Yeah, kind of. I mean, good prevails, but at a cost. And I'm not going to, we could probably guess <laughs> what's going to happen, but. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I just remember that, you know, but obviously, you know, I, I loved his, his James Bond stuff, but I got to be honest with you. My favorite role for him was um, Ramirez in Highlander. Oh yeah. I always forget about that. Yeah. He was, uh, he was yeah. the, the Egyptian, uh, he was the, the Egyptian the Scottish accent. Spanish Scottish guy. Yeah. And didn't someone in, in the stream, when you did it, you said, how do you know the Egyptians didn't have Scottish accents when they were speaking in their own language? Well, Maybe that's, that's a good point. That's like, an yeah. excellent point. But <laughs> the reality was he, he was originally Egyptian, but through the years he was now living in scotland and who knows how how many you know he could have been generations there living in scotland you know you, you pick up the accent you know this is true even living in florida i picked up a couple of things so so he and and so what's interesting is he, and and that's that's what i love about movies how just in a few lines of dialogue you get this implied storyline right so he you assume sometime in ancient egypt he discovers that he's immortal he travels the world at some point he ends up in spain he must have had you know a great life there because he loves the clothing and the style of spain but then he ends up in 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 scotland picks up the accent but he hasn't given up the spanish clothing that I find very interesting. And if you're going to be an immortal, I kind of understand that. I'm surprised we don't see that more with like vampire stories, you know, with, with their immortal, you know, backgrounds and whatnot. Hmm. I'm trying to think though, if anything else I want to say about what's Sean. You, well, what's your favorite Sean Connery role? There are a lot, you know, it's funny cause, uh, 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 big Al and I were both big fans of the movie sword of the valiant. Oh yeah, Sword of the Valiant. And, he, and uh, I've been waiting forever for that to come out on Blu-ray because uh, I, I, it was kind of, it was always shown on Saturday afternoons, and it's like you're home. It's a rainy Saturday. What are you going to? We put on the TV. Sword of the Valiant's on. It's like a a B movie version of Excalibur, but sure. they have Sean Connery as the Green Knight. And even though it didn't have the highest budget, it was like a, Go a Golden Globus movie. I loved him as the Green Knight. Okay, yeah. when he came on, he had a presence and. Um, it's funny because I got the Blu-ray in the mail on the very day Sean Connery died, you know? Mm. So, yeah. But uh, James Bond movies, love the James Bond movies. Uh, the first five Conneries, I think, are the pinnacle of Bond. Um, uh, uh, Diamonds are forever, not so much. But uh, uh -huh. it's still a good B, bad It's It's still a bad movie that I like. Yeah. Uh, they're, like they're bad movies that are bad and I don't like them. And then they're bad movies that I like. But maybe that means they're not that bad. But I don't know. But uh, I love the, of course, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He's been in a lot of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, even even the smaller film was like Medicine Man. I enjoyed that. I don't know if you saw that one. What was? Oh, he, I did see that yes, one. He was in the yeah. uh, in the rainforest. I forgot who was who was acting. Finds with. a cure for cancer or something, yeah, but they exactly. bulldoze the the rainforest and destroy yes. it. Yeah, I remembered that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he was in. Uh, he was Al Alan Quarterman in uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That's right, and was, uh, Richard... the Untouchables. Yes, I forgot about the Untouchables. Oh, that's I, the Chicago way. I love the Untouchables. Yep. Oh, that, that, that's a whole. That'll I'll go off on a tangent talking about that movie. Oh God, I I want to do a rewatch of that. What's wrong? You can't talk with a gun in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Blam! Yes. Okay, okay, I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> Darby O'Gun and the Little People. Oh, that's that. that was his first role. In fact, yeah. that's the one that led to him getting James Bond. Yeah, and uh, Wolf Ten Media mentions uh, also that he was Richard the Third, not oh King Richard in uh, Prince of Thieves. Oh, that's right. And you know, you don't expect it because he wasn't in any of the billing or anything. So when you get to the end of that movie and it's Sean Carter, it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and then they, what do they do in um, Men in Tights? <laughs> I forget. Who was Patrick it? Stewart. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. That's right. Which I thought was funny. And it's like, is he the, is he the, uh, the, the lower tier Sean Connery? I don't know. I guess. Yeah. 
I mean, everybody, you know, loves Patrick Stewart in, in most things. Um, well, at least I used to. <laughs> yeah, I know. And <laughs> times change. But right. uh, I'm happy that at least Sean Connery, I think he left this world on a good note. Yeah. He will be missed, but he is immortal. We will always remember his movies. And yep. uh, I wish uh, I wish uh, him well in the afterlife. I rest in peace. And um, amen. And, well too. And, yeah. and he I, he, you know, I mean, even though I, I, I say that George Lazenby was in my favorite James Bond film, I, I have to agree with my wife and so many others that he was the best James Bond. <laughs>